welcome to 27. do a little bit more of an in-depth test on how it behaves, how it runs uh, in the dry. Because if you remember when I picked it up, it was raining like anything. So it was loads of fun, but I couldn't really tell much about the car apart from the fact that it will now go sideways. So today gonna test out a few things, the PDAS as well, see how that behaves uh, and generally take it for a drive and see how it differs uh, from the way it was when it was a C4. I want to test to see if the PDAS is actually correctly activating the limited slip diff. So I'm gonna have two little tests for that. First, a standing start on the road, wheel spinning away, and seeing if both wheels are spinning at the same rate. Secondly, a start with one wheel on the grass and one on the road, and again, seeing if the wheel speeds are the same. Well, that's a bit inconclusive really. The first test would seem to indicate that the LSD is working with two lines of the same length when the car's wheel spinning away, but on the second test, wheel on the grass was definitely spinning much quicker. There's a couple of things that became apparent straight away even when it was raining, and that is that the transmission definitely does cause power loss. One of the most incredible things is when you're rolling on at maybe 70 miles an hour, if I lift off or if I lift off right now, nothing happens. The car doesn't slow down almost at all. Previously, when it was still a C4, when I lifted off, there was noticeable slowdown, so I can only put that down to the extra drag of the transmission. So that's no longer there, and that's a definite difference. making a weird noise. Something's definitely not good. <coughs> Luckily, my mate John arrived just as I'd broken down. So basically, Jack's broken his car. I think it's a drive shaft, but for some reason, it seems to work going backwards so we're going to attempt to drive well he's going to attempt to drive his car backwards all the way to Frank's oh here we go the beardies come to the fucking rescue it's like the fucking Thunderbirds isn't it No, it's definitely gone now. Yeah. But right, no, well the reverse trick isn't gonna work. That's definitely gone. The indignity now of being towed by uh, the black bollock. By, by the black bollock. <laughs> John, John's uh, Yaris. So we're going to go to Frank's house. Frank has kindly insisted that I take my car back to his. <laughs> and I to John, you'd make a really good like uh, recovery breakdown, man. Yeah, I would. Yeah. I just need a reflective jacket. <laughs> Why have you got pink, what's it called? Ruby stone colours. <laughs> <laughs> it's got ruby stone <laughs> Check those out. Pink, pink a ruby stone calipers. Oh, look, it's being on the high beast. <laughs> Being towed by the Yaris, not quite how I was expecting the day to go. But thanks very much, Ramps. John, the guy who's a really talented car photographer, by the way, who's giving me a tow. I was really close to Frank's house anyway, as I was coming to visit today. There's a magazine shoot for Ultimate Porsche. So I was coming here anyway, and I thought before getting there, I'd do the video, which is when I, I broke down, and you've seen the various bits. It's 
I'm 100% certain the left rear drive shaft has let go. So I think I'll have to confirm this, but I think what we learned from this is that you cannot keep on using C4 drive shafts on a C2, basically. The rear drive shafts are smaller on a C4 because they're under less strain, but I thought that with this car being lightened and all that kind of stuff, it would still be all right. Back at Frank's, I had a quick look, and that left rear drive shaft has definitely given up the ghost. I'm gonna have to change to the C2 drive shafts that I do have, uh, but that also involves changing the drive cups, which uh, are on the diff, so it's a bit more involved than I'd like. But importantly, a pretty straightforward fix. So the test has finished a lot quicker than I would have liked, um, but we've seen a couple of things to do with the PDAS and everything else. And uh, yeah, <laughs> this is what happens when you modify cars. Anyway, keep tuned and we'll see what happens.